good last example uh, video about calculating the magnitude of a vector yeah so the question for all four is what is the magnitude of the vector yeah a b one four and then two a b and c d minus six minus eight and then minus c d okay now a b one four if i would uh, sketch it um it's going to uh, for instance, I'm going to start here. So it's 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the vector AB goes like this. Okay. And I can turn it quickly into a right angle triangle. Yeah. Where this is 1 and that is 4. So to calculate the magnitude of AB, usually notated in two of those horizontal, oh, sorry, horizontal here and there, vertical lines, it is A squared plus b squared equals c squared, huh? Pythagoras theorem. Please make sure you have seen my previous videos where I explain this in more detail. So in this case, it's one squared plus four squared equals c squared. I'm trying to find a pen that is better than the one I'm using now. Uh, that is one plus 16 equals c squared. So c is the square root of 17. And that correct to three significant figures going to be 4 and a little bit more uh, and actually 4.12 okay so do I actually have to draw this right angle triangle every time well I don't really I can just do 1 squared plus 4 squared equals that hypotenuse squared however a quick sketch of the situation is very useful now then I ask me what is 2ab yeah now I realize because that is multiplying the column vector AB by 2, well, that is 2, 8. Yeah? Do I really have to draw that and work out the magnitude again? No, I don't. Because if the magnitude of AB is 4.12, then the magnitude of 2AB, what do you think? Yeah, it's going to be twice that number, which is, if I use the square root of 17, 8.25 yeah because I've used the square root of 17 times 2 because this was already a rounded answer yeah but 8.24 um, is perhaps what you wrote down yeah so it's twice as big yeah the magnitude is twice as big so two times the initial magnitude all right so that saves you some time yeah time you will be needing on your exam CD minus 6 minus 8 I'm just going to continue here minus 6 minus 6 minus 8 Pythagoras theorem yeah but please don't make any silly mistakes minus 6 minus 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 doesn't really fit I'm gonna cheat a little bit over there yeah this is the vector now some of you if you are calculating it using Pythagoras theorem yeah are gonna get a math error on their calculator um, maybe you're one of them and maybe hopefully you've tried to solve this question before you're looking at my answer now and they get a math error yeah because what do they do they do a minus 6 squared plus a minus 8 squared equals c squared and they work it out and get a math error yeah you gotta understand one thing if you sketch it yeah sketch the entire right angle triangle and then I'm asking you the following what is the length of this one? Yeah? And then some of you are going to say oh, it's minus 6. No, but it's not minus 6. Because if I actually count it, the length is 6. Yeah? Because 6 centimeters is like this. How much is minus 6 centimeters? What, 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 what is that? Minus 6 centimeters. No, it's 6 centimeters. The minus only talks about the direction. Yeah? It tells you the direction. It's that way. But the length, the actual length, the magnitude is 6. Same for the minus 8. What is the length here? The length is not minus eight, the length is eight. Yeah? The minus sign tells you the direction it's going down. So you have to use the positive numbers. Six squared plus eight squared equals the hypotenuse squared. Or you're able to use a calculator properly and you put some brackets around that minus six squared plus minus eight squared equals c squared. Okay? 36 plus 64 equals c squared. Your answer is going to be 10. All right, your answer is going to be 10. <coughs> so please, whenever you have those negatives, when you sketch it, ask yourself, so how long is that? That's six, that's not minus six, that's eight. It's not minus eight, what is minus eight? 
What is it? No. It's eight. Okay. Sorry about that. So the answer was 10. The magnitude is 10. And then the question is, what is minus CD? Yeah. So if CD, CD, yeah, so the magnitude of CD is 10, what is the magnitude of minus CD? What do you reckon? What do you think? Did you say minus 10? No, of course it's not minus 10. What is the length? Yeah? What is the length of this line? It's 10. From C to D, it's 10. If I change the direction, so minus CD, which means from D to C, what happened to the length? Absolutely nothing. It is still 10. Yeah? The length is still 10. Yes, the direction changed, and vectors have a direction and a magnitude, yes, but the magnitude did not change, okay? Because this is still six and that is still eight. So the magnitude of CD equals the magnitude of minus CD. All right, um, send me a message if you have any more questions. Otherwise, I'll see you soon at the um, vector geometry part, yeah? Because now it gets really interesting. See you there.